What up, friends and family? It's your boy Mike and your girl Bree. Hey, and we back in this thing to talk about the recruit now airing on Netflix. <laughs> so, Netflix, you know, they've been kind of falling off a little bit lately. Just a so, they've been trying to, you know, what I mean, put out shows that we can, uh, yeah, that we would probably like. And I would say, what you think? I say out of ten, I'm gonna give the recruit. I give it like a six and a half, seven. Yeah, I was about to say like a seven. It's good, but it's predictable. To me. Very predictable. So it's uh, that's what I'm tired of. Predictable show. Yes. So it's about a guy that just graduated college. He got recruited by the CIA. Yeah. So now he's, he's a lawyer. Yeah, he's a lawyer for the CIA, so he's basically on his first case ever with the CIA, and that's basically what the whole story is about. Boom, point blanks here, put close the book, it's over with. <laughs> yeah. But nah, it's more, it's more uh, in between, and of yeah. course, uh, if you're watching this video, more than likely you didn't seen it, so you just here, you know, to yeah. check out to see what other people think. What it, yeah, <laughs> what other people thought about it. So, like I said, six and a half out of seven. Bree gave it, say she gave it around like the same seven, thing, yeah. the seven. So. My thing is the predictability of it all. Yeah. Um, so he started going through these gray scale cases. Yeah, gray male. Gray, gray male. And he comes across Max. They say she's not giving up the source. Mm -hmm. And you got to help me to do this. Mm -hmm. I interest align. She has some information right. that, she doesn't, that nobody else wants her to know. And if he don't help, he won't yeah. get the information. Just predictable stuff. So... <laughs> Of course, he helps because yeah. he's trying to figure out, all right, I'm on the case, so I need to figure out what's going mm -hmm. on. Then it comes, turns out that it seems like it's a mole in the operation of the CIA. So, Mr. Owen himself goes out and do it, mm -hmm. which is like, bro, this lawyer was in so much freaking action. He might as well have been uh, like an agent, a like an op. Yeah. yeah. He might as well have been an, he op, might not have a been an operations. Because I ain't see this more going court not one time, I feel like. But to see her get off. Uh, yeah. It's like she he had a whole different lawyer. lawyer now that I think yeah. about it, she had a whole different. He's supposed to be the lawyer figuring no, this out. No, he was out. just supposed to be the great male lawyer, not her lawyer. Right. The man didn't Anyways, do no lawyer yeah. work, I yeah. feel like. I feel yeah. like the roommate, the, uh, the girl, what's her name? Uh, uh, Hannah. Hannah. She did more lawyers. Was she a lawyer? Yeah, yeah. I think she was. She, I feel like or she done more like or something like that. They both were in law school at the same time, so she does something with that. But then I don't know. Like you know, she's obviously she has some privilege because her mom worked. Right. So she the got the job because so, of her mom. Yeah. Owen got the job because he worked this tail off or however he did yeah i don't know how the he job. Got the job so he's basically like an adrenaline junkie anyway so it's yeah. perfect for him but i don't know why he went the lawyer he might like you said might as well have just been yeah. an agent instead but of but i lawyer. think he said that he became a lawyer because he promised his mom that he wouldn't follow the same tracks as, as his, his dad. dad so i guess he felt like oh i can still be involved with that type of stuff but i'll just be a lawyer i don't know he didn't do any lawyer stuff like you said basically and it was just I mean it was action it had some action in there don't get me wrong some it had some good action when in there Max was in the, was Definitely. involved um I mean but some stuff was just like unrealistic like and my thing go ahead I'm sorry okay like some things was just unrealistic like for instance like Owen got in trouble he was in another country okay and then Hannah and the other roommate, I think his name was Terrence. Terrence, yeah. Yeah, so they packed their bags up and went all the way to this other country to try to save him. To try to Owen. save him. Like, Y'all have what? no combat experience. Y'all don't know what this man like, going through. Like, that is just weird. Like, I mean, I get the gesture of, man, ain't nobody gonna go save him. We gotta go figure out something. I kind of get that, but come on now. Like, they packed their stuff up and went all the way to this other country. To go, and I don't I'm purposely not saying the other country because I just don't want to give everything away but if you haven't seen it and you're watching this but like they pack, purposely pack up their stuff it, it's just like there's some holes in here for sure and then I don't know something about the ending kind of throws me off a little bit too 
it just it was a it was predictable but at the same time it was kind of like okay where is this going <laughs> i'm just trying to figure out exactly what i want to say here because yeah. now that i'm really thinking about through all this some of this is very unrealistic <laughs> There. Okay, so just at the beginning, he got one fingernail. I think it was one or tore two off, fingernails yeah. tore off, and then it was just like, "Oh, okay, yeah, we believe him now. Gone, gone back the way you came from." Yeah, he I don't even think they, information. I don't even think they called and verify anything. They no. just, oh yeah, uh huh, uh huh. And done. It was just, it was already someone by her. Yeah, she was already from, sneaky. Yeah, it was yeah. just, and then come to find out, she was working with what's his name? Is his name Alexander? What's his name, Alexander? I don't remember. Xander, Xander. Yeah, was yeah, his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Xander, he had he was the guy obviously that was working with Max and then mm -hmm. gave her the whole yeah. Bob thing mm -hmm. and all that and Which she didn't even actually really know Bob. So it was just weird. But I mean, I guess being a spy and all yeah, that, yeah. she can treat people in the Yeah, way yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm is. just saying it was a lot going on. Like even when Max was able to get them people to like she gave them money and handed them the envelope and he yeah. didn't even look in the envelope to verify that what she said was in the envelope was in the envelope she just walked away like i don't know it just was giving predictable and i don't understand the whole thing with lester and violet why did he even come up well violet was like well, why you ain't never tried to hit at me? Like, I don't. Yeah, they tried to make like a love interest. Love, love, yeah. But it was, come on, it was man. not. It just was not. That, me. And then Lester, <laughs> he is a lawyer now. But, but he used when to be the an other, op. yeah, he used to be an op. So it's now it comes lot. to find out that he's forever an op, no matter what job he go to. Because when the other head guy said that Lester, said, we need well, you. Yeah, yeah, we need you. So you in, and then Lester just automatically. If this other job as this lawyer, yes, I'm in, sir. Whatever you need I, me to it's do. It's almost like, but I think it kind of reminds you more of like the military. Like when you think of people that are very, no, like it's into almost, the branch that they're in. If somebody calls for duty, you know, calls them for duty, they kinda, automatically. But it kind of makes it also seem like that he's a spy. Mm. That he's a spy for uh, the ops what team of what's going on on the lawyer side. I get what you. That's possible. Cause you know, done. They don't like when lawyers are involved in none of the mm -hmm. stuff they do. Cause now all the legal stuff comes, comes about. Into play, so yeah. now that's what I. I what that's what I would. If I was the boss, I'd been looking like. Bro, you supposed to be on our team. Yeah. And, and then now you just automatically just go over there. Yeah. I don't know. They tried to do a lot in the show at once. But, okay. We're not going to sit here and dog the show for the next six minutes. Because we didn't no, give it I'm a seven. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, if you want a good little show that's filled with some action. And you're not going to take it too serious. Okay. If something that you're just not going to take too serious. Have some action. Then check out the show. It's not an awful show. But when you really start to man. think, okay, but when you really start to think about the show and stuff like that and think of it seriously and what would logically make right. sense, it doesn't always make yeah, sense. Yeah, but if you just need something to binge watch right. on Netflix, this would be a this good, is show a good to little watch. show to watch. It's not bad. Don't think too far into yeah, it. Like yeah, definitely. If you think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but this is our reaction to the show. Wrong. This is how we feel Unending about it. All that. Straight so, to the yeah. point. We ain't do That's all it. that. Yeah. That's all we got. That's all we got on this. So, if you haven't, go check out The Recruit on Netflix. Yep. If you have, let us know down in the comments what y'all thought about it. Did y'all feel the same way we felt or... Are we thinking about it too much? <laughs> or did y'all have a whole different outlook on the whole movie? Yeah. So, let us know down below. Please like, Definitely. comment, and subscribe to the channel. Right please. Now. You know what I'm saying? So, it's been your boy Mike. And your girl Bree. Hey, and we out.